Brendan Schaub has a new announcement to make. Brendan Schaub has a new announcement to make. Do you know what it is? Do you know what Brendan Schaub's new announcement to make is? He's on the cover of Street Trucks. Brendan Schaub's on the cover of Street Trucks. Look at this fucking cover. Brendan Schaub on the cover of Street Trucks. What an achievement. This is what we were all waiting for. When he decided to quit stand-up comedy, when he decided to wait, he went to spend more time with his family, this is what we were waiting for. We are waiting for him to be on the cover of Street Trucks, the premier street truck magazine. He's got the car that he's going to be giving away soon to a lucky winner, to a lucky user, to a lucky fan has now appeared on Street Trucks. This is what we were waiting for. You know, people told him it wasn't possible. People told him he wouldn't make it. People told him he was a failure. People told him it wasn't going to go well for him. But look at how he's turned things around. He's now on the cover of Street Trucks. Wow. Wow. Fucking wow. He's made it finally. And look at this eloquent caption. Sharing my love for trucks and cars has taken me to some wild places all in America. I never imagined all in America. Check out the latest Street Trucks magazine cover. This lightning project meant a lot. I'm going to give the car away. Connected with so many great people in the space. Thanks for the support. And he then lists all of his fucking sponsors or all of the people who he's now hoping to give him free shit because this post is going to get a lot of likes and shit. So he's going to use this post as a way to kind of negotiate to get loads of free shit. That's the only reason why he made this, by the way. It's a very clever way to get some free exposure and, of course, to list all the companies that you are working with, which just means buying stuff from them and in the hopes, in the hopes that it's going to allow you to go and then be able to get more free shit or get free shit that you won't get before. But, Let's also be fair. Let's also be fair. I said it previously. I actually think the wrap of this car is actually quite nice. I'm not going to lie. I know for most of you guys, it's quite ugly. But again, being that I'm from the UK and I fucking love, um, you know, Range Rover Sports. Do you guys remember Range Rover Sports? Do you guys remember that one? Do you guys remember Range Rover Sports? Range Rover Sport in orange. Do you guys remember that? I've got two cars here and a Ford Focus ST in orange too. Do you guys remember those two cars? When I think of that car, I think of these particular cars that came out many, many years ago. I remember these when I was growing up, seeing these down in the streets from where I grew up and seeing some of the local fucking gangsters and hood rats were driving these things and I fucking loved them. The same way I loved this Range Rover Sport in orange. So when I see Brendan's car, how it's wrapped in that orange, I'm reminded of this era of Range Rover Sports that I've always fucking wanted. So I quite like it, I'm not going to lie. I do like the wrap. Um, I think it actually looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, it does actually look like it's got some character to it. Obviously, you know, he's going to give it away. He doesn't really push it too hard. He's probably not the best, you know, um, driver of it or whatever it may be. But let's be fair. It does look quite hard, no? Or am I being or am I being crass here? What do you guys think? I actually fucking love it. I'm not going to lie. I think it looks fucking really, really cool. I love how it's got the fucking nice big ba nice big uh, Ford badge here on the front of the grill. You've got a black bonnet here as well going on. You've got different types of, um, what you call it, wheels at the back here. Not too sure what that different alloy is at the back. I'm assuming that's some sort of, is that a traction thing? Is that a weight thing to have like different tires or is that or different wheels, sorry? Or is that just a different, or is that just a style thing? I'm not too sure, but I quite like that. The racing slicks thing, is it race? Are they slicks? No, they're not slicks. I think the back are slicks, right? I'm not too sure. Either way, looks cool. What do you guys think about it? I quite like the color. The magazine cover is fucking redacted. Him being on the front of it is fucking redacted too. And it goes to show you how hungry these magazines are for a bit of clout and a bit of recognition because he's only been buying cars or being into kind of trucks for what, six months? And now something's on the, he's done a fucking magazine. And again, I don't know if it's a legit magazine. It could be an online magazine. I don't really know. Let's see their Instagram account. Have they got any... Hey, Ago, Far what do you feel about those immigrants? You're tied to us. How do you feel about unlimited immigrants just coming in and no one even checks who they are? Yeah, of course. They should. Why should people check? Who, why should anyone check who anybody is? I think there should be open borders around the world. I think everybody should be able to go anywhere. 
I think we should abolish passports. I think we should abolish home ownership. Why should you own a home? It's so greedy. Why should you have a house for yourself? Why don't you share the house with the rest of the population? There's people outside who are covered in rain, covered in shit, covered in piss. Why can't they stay in your house? I don't believe in borders. I don't believe in passports. I don't believe in home ownership. I don't believe in bank accounts. I don't believe in private property. I don't believe in even in privacy. I feel like we should be fucking and sucking in front of each other. I feel like we should we should all be having freak offs. We should be living in each other's homes. We should all be able to walk across the fucking ocean and go to somewhere if we want to go and live there without anybody telling us what we can't go there. That's what I think we should do. No open borders for everybody. <laughs> That's what I want to see. Let's pop off. Let's see some real shit. Let's see open borders everywhere. You know what I mean? I want to see some Chechnyans in Sweden, right? I want to see some Ethiopians in fucking Norway, right? That's what I want to see. I want to see how that mix goes down. I want to see how that mix goes down. But yeah, this is hilarious. Uh, big up, uh, Farfik. Appreciate you. Brendan on the cover of this magazine when he's just started to buy trucks recently is fucking hilarious. Um, but this will validate him and give him all the fucking bonus that he needs to keep on going with this shit. The title of the magazine says, The Number One Custom Car Infusion Magazine. The subtext here says Square Boy Interior plus Timzy, what TMI Cruiser um, installs, Brennan Shaw Boosted Blue Oval. Is there an interview with this? Can we see, is there like an interview that we can read or is it just these pictures? What's it say here? Let's see. Is it like an interview we can read or is it just some pictures that we can just check out? I'm curious to see. Ah, oh, I think it's a, you have to actually buy it. I think it's like an actual print magazine you have to actually purchase. New YouTube video, street trucks website. Okay, cool. I'm not going to bother with that. But I guess that's the case. I guess that is the case over there. So Brendan is out here on the cover of fucking truck magazines, flexing, being a fucking big boy. Let's check out some of the comments here from some of the fans and see what they think of Brendan Shaw being on the cover of the number one custom truck enthusiast magazine in the world, Street Trucks. And I mean street truck, street trucks. What's the first person says here? The thickest copy I've ever released. Um, okay, now I'm gonna need an autographic copy. Did they now? Sh did they show the flip TRX truck? I love the fact that you're into trucks, man. It's so cool to see those silver door jams. What's a, what's a silver door jams? What's that? Uh, I guess it's that. Is that this? I don't know. Who cares a truck? Um, street truck. Get get out to a lucky dog race. Nothing better than the track. I like the color. Easy on the road. Baller. What's that? Baller bedlocks on the back but you couldn't do the matching setup on the front. Come on. Okay, cool. Loads of car enthusiasts liking it. Big up, Brendan. I quite like the rap. It actually looks quite decent. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Talking about Brendan and cars. Have you guys seen this? Have you guys seen this? Talking about Brendan and cars. Have you guys seen this? <laughs> have you guys seen this? Talking about Brendan Shubin and cars. Have you seen this? The latest episode, or one latest episode of Shorb Show, if you zoom in on the back of where Brennan's sitting, look at the picture he's got. Brennan decided to frame the picture of him racing at like 20 miles per hour during that fucking, you know, mint 400 race. And you got that fucking shitty picture of him in that car framed in the back of his fucking Shorb Show studio. Can you imagine how redacted you have to be that you think that's a good thing to show off? that you were driving so slow you ended up being like second to last. That's not something to brag about. I'd want to forget about it. I wouldn't even want to have any remembrance of it. I'd delete the pictures. I wouldn't check my Instagram for like a week or two because I didn't want to see the fucking Mint 400 in my algorithm anymore. I'd be completely off. I would not let this be something that I boast about, that I talk about, that's in my memory. Never, ever, 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 ever. So the fact that they do, or the fact that he does, is absolutely hilarious. But it makes sense though, right? Because he's always like, you know, this is how he thinks, right? He's one of those type of people. He closes his eyes when he thinks, right? When he's mulling over an idea, thinking if he should fire Chin and send him to the fucking gulags like George. This is what he does. He closes his eyes and then he, and then he pictures himself in that doom buggy talking to fucking Donald Cerrone's back. But again, what do I know? What do I know? Absolutely nothing. You know, that's what I know absolutely nothing let's move on from that one 
Let's play some clips that I decided to upload on my fucking, fucking 